We are back with another Ransom Review. This time we are checking out Cat Crimes. This is a logic game for single players. Um, it's got apparently 40 crimes you can solve. And so generally speaking, you have a board right here. It's a nice little board with a raised portion to represent like a, I'm guessing kind of like a, a table maybe? Or a rug? Probably a rug. And then you have specific cats that will be placed around the table. Uh, tokens that represent things that have basically been done by the cats, like oh, maybe the, all the yarn was destroyed, maybe the bird was eaten, maybe the shoes were chewed, maybe the coffee was spilled, uh, the goldfish was hurt, or, you know, like most cats do, the potted plant was destroyed. Um, so you would place these cats around the table depending on the specific rules of the round on the challenge cards, and then you have to guess, based as the clues being revealed to you one by one, which cat is the one that did it. And they'll say things like, oh, um, the cat was had a bow on, or the, the cat was long-haired. So um, this is an expert one. Uh, who broke the flower pot? And so the, some of the clues are Ginger was not sitting next to the cat wearing a bow. The cat with the blue eyes was sitting in front of the blue ball. And so you're placing these down on the board around where you're, the clues are telling you. And then your goal is to try to guess, guess which is the actual result. So in this scenario, we would have the flower pot is destroyed. So we put that one down. We don't know what any of the places the cats are yet, but the cat that is directly in front of the flower pot will be the one that did it. So let's let's actually do one that's that's not an expert one. It's just like it's easier for me to get through it real quick and do it to get our one. And this is actually gonna be the shoes are one. Okay. So Mr. Mittens and Pip Squeak were upstairs sleeping so they're not even on the board. Tomcat was sitting in front of the catnip and the sock. So, Tomcat was there. Sassy was sitting across the table from Tomcat, so she'd be here. Ginger was sitting next to the fishbowl. And Duchess was to the left of Sassy. So the board should be like this, and therefore Sassy is the one that destroyed the shoes. We would do the reveal. Oh, I guess they weren't the head of the table. Easy. Duchess. Okay. That's on me. <laughs> so Ginger was in front of the ball of yarn. Sitting next to the fishbowl, not in front of the fishbowl. And Duchess was left of Sassy. So in this situation, Duchess would be the one in front of it, so Duchess is the one that ruined the shoes. So uh, these, these are real kind of simple ones. You get to kind of hang up like the, the language once you start playing a little bit. I like the raised edge on this, so it kind of feels more like it's an actual kind of board as opposed to a flat board. It gives it more three-dimensional feel. Um, there are 40 of these. The one problem I will say about it is that when you are done with them, they are done. It's kind of hard for you to play over another one. But um, you can always wait some time uh, in case you're very forgetful and then try it again and see if you can remember it. Um, or you can pass it on to one of the other people in the house and let them try doing it as long as they weren't watching you while you were doing it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, this is uh, Cat Crimes. Uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next week for our next Ransom Review.